Good afternoon everybody, this is Nelka again and today's lesson is about road lighting or street lighting design calculations. So this video tutorial is part of my Udemy course, Street Lighting Design Techniques. So if you want to visit that one, go and check www.udemy.com slash nelkaroko slash road lighting or street lighting design techniques. Alright, so let's go and check this one. Okay, I have one image here and uh, we are looking now at the um, uh, urban street lighting and you can see there there is a decorative poles you can see here in this Clark Street that we have a pathwalk light for pedestrian and also a road lighting in a, in a bracket at the same time it's again in the decorative pole because it's an urban area so the pole should be decorative so the, the section is here so we will calculate this road having a 10 feet two lane five feet bike lane and seven feet for parking lanes both sides and this of course the pedestrian zone using this street light and we need to find out what is the most uh, economical way to design it using uh, um, eight, 8 to 10 meters pole height and we need to find out the spacing and the wattage of the luminaire or the lumen output of the fitting okay so let's go and do it now so I'm going to open now my Dialux Evo and it's here so I'll double click here in this icon and then let's wait it to, to load okay so it's loading now and uh, we just need for more and if you want to go and uh, enroll in Dialux Evo website, Dialux website, go and ch click this one to go for the basic function of Dialux Evo online. online. Okay, so we are now here in this first window of the Dialux Evo. So we go now directly to the street lighting because we have options for the outdoor import plan or IFC and the simple room planning and then street lighting and then simple indoor planning. So we'll go now to the street lighting. Click that one. Okay, so it's open now. And we will create now our road. So this is your uh, window for a road lighting using the Dialux Evo software. And so let's go and review what we need to do. So 10 feet, or let's say this is 3.5 meters each for a driving lane. And this is 1.5 for a bike lane. And then let's say this is 2.5 for a parking lane. And for the pedestrian zone, let's just make it... Um, uh, four total of uh, four meters okay 3.5 or four meters okay so let's go now on how to do that we need to first create our road so uh, based on the requirements we need to create two lanes of road so now it's the default here in the Lux Evo and then we will add a bike lane and also um, parking lane and also um patwalk lane patwalk okay so if if i want to add now a uh, bike lane i'll just go and press this one you can see those uh, add bicycle lanes so i'll just go press one and then two yes the bicycle lane number two i will uh, press this down one two three and as i go press down you can see the update here in the 3d view and then I will add another one which is the um, parking lane. So I'll just say add by uh, lay bys or parking. One, two. I'll press the lay bys number two on down. One, two, three. Uh, here. So it should be, yeah. Uh, if you can see here in the 3D view, it should be the driveway on the middle and then the bike lane here and the next side and then the parkway and then we will adjust the um, uh, height of these uh, bike lanes later okay after that we will add a sidewalk so let's go and add sidewalk press this uh, human figure here one two so it should be both sides i'll put uh, i will push the sidewalk number two down one two three until it reaches on the other side all right, so now it's there. Okay. Yeah, you can see now in the 3D view how it looks. So let's go and check it in the top view. 
and then so you can see here now that my bike lane is a little uh, high the pavement is high so I'll just make it um, lower or on the level of the road so if you want to edit the, the, the dimensions and the, 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 the distance or the, the width of these road bike lanes and park lanes you can go and click in every tab here so let's go first on the roadway click this one and you can see this is seven meters number of lanes two and the um, roadway uh, class that we're going to use is m4 that this is the default if your client has a requirements you can select it from here as per the standard so let's just go and select the m4 right now as a default and the roadway surface is CIE3 this this has a meaning again if it's a, a regular asphalt or a brick road or whatever a concrete road so just go and check this one but for now let's just use this default the CIE R3 and Q.07 so you can see it's um, 7 meters now let's go to the bike lane and you see here it's the width is only 1 meter and I said I will make it 1.5 so press that one and you can see the height is 0.1 meter from the zero level so I'll just make it zero so it will be on the level of the road you can see the the moment I adjust the height it changes immediately immediately here in the 3d view and then let's just use the illuminance, illuminance class of P4 for the black uh, bike lane you can add the vertical illuminance or semi cylindrical illuminance if you like and then go to the other one, the bicycle lane number 2. Again, change this one as 1.5 meters width, with point, uh, zero or zero height. And then let's just keep this uh, vertical illuminance unchecked because it will be just typical to the other side. And then let's go now to the laybys or the parking side. So let's, yeah, keep this one as 2.5, height as 0. And then another one, let's double check the laybys number 2 again 2.5 perfect and then zero and for the sidewalk i mentioned that we will make it as uh, 3.5 so let's just change the width into 3.5 and then the height will be yeah let's keep the 0.1 or 10 centi uh, height default and again the elements class is p4 and let's have a vertical and semi-cylindrical elements for that one path walk and then the other sidewalk let's keep it like that and then just change the width into 3.5 so it will be typical to the other side okay so our road now is ready to do the calculation for this one so let's go and recheck or review so we have pedestrian zone or um, a padwalk a parking lane bike and driving lane all right so now it's ready here uh, we need to select now the correct luminaire and also the height of the fitting I said it's 8 meters to 10 meters and we need to find out the luminaires and the spacing of the poles so let's go now and put our luminaire let's go to the uh, lamp tab here at the bottom so I'll have some here uh, from my history list I can select from here and I'll just say select the most higher wattage for now and we can reduce that one later if it's necessary so let's go i have this r2 l2 let's check this one okay i think this is uh a narrow How about this one it is wide you can see the photometric here diagram here on the thumbnail so because i have i need to maximize the distance but because this the width of the roadway is also wide so i need to make sure that i have enough light on the middle also so i'll just select this one for now and i'll just go and import luminaire i'm oh, sorry not import just drag and drop all right so so once we drag and drop it it will automatically place on the uh, bicycle lane so we need to move it because as per our design, it should be on the pedestrian zone or on the path walk. So the wattage of this luminaire is, uh, we can just check it here. It's 37 watt. I think this is not enough. Okay. So this is not enough. I think I need to go and look for higher wattage. 
Because the height of our pole is 8 to 10 meters. So we'll go and select uh, maybe this one. Yes, let's go and try this one. Just drag and drag. Yep. Then I just go and remove the first one. So I'll just go and uncheck this one. You see there are two luminaires now here on this side. So just go and click the delete here. So I'll go and just press delete here. And now I have the remaining luminaire which is I have third. Oh, I choose the... <laughs> okay. okay. Let's just select another one. You can go directly to the website of the luminaire to select the uh, the better or the higher lumen output. Okay, so this one is 78 watt. Okay, let's go and try the 78 watt for now. So I'll just go and drag and drop here. Alright. Then I'll just remove uh, the first one that we used. So let's go now and see how it looks. I will just say the light center is 8 meters. So there is a pole distance here as uh, optimized as um, uh, 15 meters and once I move it from the back because I need to put it here on the sidewalk so what I need to do is I'll go and put a over overhang here or a distance from the roadway or I'll just go and put a, le a boom length for now see because we, you can see here now there is I think this is say uh, 1.5 meters boom length or brackets so I'll go and start type 1.5 and you can see now here, there, it's, it's automatically seen on the uh, 3D view. And then if I want to see the luminaire value, it's here. Okay. Alright, let's just put it up a little for now. And then I'll just put it, push it back. Uh, say this is 2.5 and then 1.5, I'll say 3 meters. Okay, let's say make it more. 4 meters okay 4.5 then okay so it's on the pathwalk now and I need, to be, and I, I need to adjust also the bracket length yeah so to adjust the overhang as you can see here this looks mm, still uh, longer so I'll just make it negative 2 okay so if you go to the elevation view and check it you can just calculate it from here but I just want to measure it so I'll just go ahead and measure it using the tape measure. Yes, it says 2 meters. And if I would want to make it uh, 1.5 only, I'll just go and click here as negative 2.5. Yep, so it's okay now. And then I'll just have, uh, because, because based on this bracket, it doesn't have angle. And if I want to select a luminary like this one, I can also select from other manufacturer. But for now, for the calculation purposes, just let's, let's just keep this one. And see how if we achieve the lux level. I'll say, I'll not, I'm not going to the optimization. I'll say, try 25 meters. Okay, I, I made the spacing of the pole a little wider. Or farther from each other. So I'll go now and press this calculation uh, tab thumb and then go and pull it up or scroll it down and see oh look at this so we achieved the calculation report for the roadway so the requirements is 0.75 candela per square meter and we have 0.87 overall uniformity is 0.4 and we got 0.4 very good uh, UI is 0.6 and we got 0.83 very nice and the TI is 15 and we got 13 it should be le le lower than uh, 15 and then IER, uh, this is 0.3 and we have point, uh, point 0.29. I don't think this is uh, so important, but it should be lower than 0.30. I'm not sure. Okay, so for the valuation field, uh, we are not achieving the, uh, the average for the sidewalk, which is 5 lakhs, uh, 5 lakhs to 7.5. I think we are over because we have 8.9 okay it's mentioning that it should be 5 to 7.5 I think this 8.8 .8 is much better it's much brighter that's better 
for a sidewalk and then for the bicycle lane again we have oh this is overlit it shows this is only 5 to 7.5 but we have 20 i think this is fine because bicycle lane uh is very important uh for them to see properly i don't know why it's only up to 7.5 and then for the bi uh, bicycle lane, it's the same, okay. Okay, we can uncheck this one because it's typical to the other side. So I'll just go and uncheck this um, other two here, okay, <laughs> because it's not checked. So just go and the bicycle uh, lane one only, okay. And then the sidewalk, we are ah, alright. So the first one is the sidewalk two but uh, on the other one it's different oh I forgot we need to make it a uh, two uh, two poles on both sides yes definitely I forgot that one so we need to make it two poles on both sides so to do that go and press this two-sided arrangement you can either have a two-sided like this one from in line with each other or you can make it a staggered arrangement or offset it like this one okay so whichever is necessary in your design yeah just go and do it but for now let's just go and select the two-sided arrangement which is which is in line with each other so let's go and check this one if we achieve still yes we still achieve it and I think uh, the 78 watt fitting is higher now we need to make it uh, maybe 50 watt the 70 is too much now okay so we need to change our fitting with a lower wattage maybe 50 lock, uh, 50 watt is enough because you can see here in the candela per square meter we achieve 1.86 and our requirements is 0.75 but let's see if we change the spacing of the fitting into instead of 25 meters apart let's just make it 30 so I'll type it 30 here and okay it's still the same still higher because we achieve 1.55 uh, 1. and the requirements is only 0. 0.75 and for example I want to change it into 35 meters okay now it seems it's still high and we are still achieving the same like before and you can see here the photometric of this fitting is like this so let's go and uh, replace this luminaire with a 50 watt and let's see how it looks so replace luminaire just pl uh, press this one and then just let's select fitting that is maybe I'm looking now at the photometric okay let's just try this one oh okay so I think it seems that we failed to achieve the UI here so I think this kind of photometric is not good optics I think this optic is not good so let's go and replace it once again and maybe I want to change it with something similar to what we chose before all right so now we it's so less but I like this optic because it looks like it's achieving everything or not really so what is the wattage of this one let's go and check so this one is only 37 watt okay so it's really true that we need to replace it with 50 at least okay so I'm going to change it now again okay I'm telling you road lighting is a little bit tricky but it's so fun so just make sure that you have something to replace your fitting immediately okay so now I selected the 50 watt luminaire with this kind of optic because I can't find the other optics I need to go to the website so I changed this one into 50 watt but we failed to achieve the um, UI so let's go and select this uh, two-sided arrangement if it's okay yeah okay so this one if it's staggered, staggered arrangement this is fine we achieve the UI and everything but we failed to comply with some of our bicycle lane and sidewalk okay we achieved the minimum but we are over lit for uh, the average because we have uh, this one we did not 
achieve the average for the sidewalk and for the bicycle lane we achieve higher one and uh, the horizontal and vertical also so what we're going to do is because we uh, mentioned about the decorative luminaire let's go and select the other fitting that goes and comply with the requirements as for the visualization unfortunately my okay let's go and select maybe here in my history there is something like that so it's like a suspended luminaire yes yes i have this uh victoria yes this is a suspended luminaire so let's go and ch check this one so this victoria seems okay yeah we achieved the steel this one is like um what is the wattage of this victoria let's go and check yeah this one is 44 watt victoria is 44 watts and we still comply with the requirements for road lighting unfortunately our um, bicycle lane and sidewalk still overlit for the bicycle lane and sidewalk is less still it's very less so but let's go and make the bracket or the offset from the road a little how about this pattern arrangement like this one not so you need to go and play with the staggered arrangement something like this there is no median you cannot go for the median because there is no media middle uh, island here and if we go and offset the luminaire more like the bracket is lesser so let's go and try negative three Ooh, let's go and see how it looks yes we achieved the road but the path walk yes perfect you can see here now our sidewalk has 5.12 so we just lessen the bracket and it goes perfectly here so you can see here now my arrangement is fine let's go and try this uh, two-sided arrangement okay so yeah still the same okay so let's just go and select this one instead so that's it so we achieved the road lighting and the sidewalk and the bicycling uh, we did not achieve the um, uh, what we call this for the sidewalk the vertical illuminance and the semi-cylindrical illuminance and actually this vertical and semi-cylindrical cylindrical is very important for the sidewalk because uh, we need to recognize the face or the people on the sidewalk actually not really recognize the face but it's very important that we see the whole body of the people passing by or, or walking on the side of the road for safety and uh, security all right so that's it for now if you have more questions and if you want to learn more of this road lighting design techniques go and enroll in my udemy course don't forget and also, if you want to uh, know more about lighting design techniques, go and visit my website www.enrocolightingdesign.com or you can visit my um, Facebook page so I can give you some of my coupon codes for the trainings or any courses. Alright, so see you again next time. Bye!